Hi guys, today is a product review day. We got some products from F near C. In the package, there was an oscilloscope and also an accessory for a power supply. Let's learn about this product. But before, we need to know that the product is sponsored and the sponsor wants you to visit the web page where you can find the product we are going to talk about in this video. In the package, there was uh, two power cable, very good quality ones, guys. I, I'm scratching my head because I'm wondering if it is silicone or not. It looks like silicone to me. And there was also two mini USB cables, two USB, also a kind of uh, diode uh, bypass system Probably if we're going to use this power supply to connect to batteries for recharging to polarize correctly and to avoid the reverse voltage. Also, because they trust our knowledge, they also add two fuses. And I really appreciate it because when we blow the fuse, it's hard to find them. Thanks, FNRC, for the service. We really appreciate it. There is a C kind USB cable to C kind USB cable for a special power supply that can give us from 3, 12, 21 volts if we get that power supply too. Nevertheless, the beautiful cover that comes with the FNRC products already characteristic, and we really appreciate that. It's a beautiful one. There are two kinds of power supplies. One with a coarse and fine adjustment for the voltage, and the same for the current. I don't have it. That's other kind I don't have here. This current adjustment is not to adjust the fine current level. This is a current limit that is different. I said here at how many amperes do I want the the unit to shut down when I reach that level, when I get that, that threshold. For this kind of power supply that I don't have the current adjustment is where I need the F NIRC power supply accessory because I can set up the voltage with more precision than this voltmeter and those adjustments and I can set up the current too and give current limit, not the, not the current level I want to shut down the system. Just watch this. If I make a short circuit in low current, the unit will shut down, the voltage will go to zero and will stop supplying voltage. Got it? I have to reset it and start over. I can give more current. It will happen the same. It's the current level I want to set up until it shuts down. So for the guys, as example, the ones who repair smartphones, they need to give current to a short circuit to find out where in the smartphone, the tablet, the laptop, the short circuit is, is by finding the temperature changing. They need a current limit for this kind of power supply. This is good to charge batteries, but it's not good to find charge circuits. This is the accessory we need for it. One ampere, zero volts, but it's not shutting down. So yes, I can adjust as a constant current power supply. Now let's find other wonderful application about it.
Now let's make a four wire resistor measurement. I'm going to apply one ampere across of the resistor and with one external voltmeter, I will check the voltage drop across of the resistor. I cannot use this voltmeter because it will show the voltage drop across of the wires plus the resistor. Set already with one ampere, let's make a test. There is not one ampere yet, so I need to increase the voltage. Now there is one ampere, and ohms times one ampere is equal to voltage, where the voltage will be equal to the ohms value. 1 times 1 is equal to 1. So in this case, the resistor is 0 0.986 ohms. And this unit is wonderful because I can make measurements with very low resistor values. What about the output noise? The fabricant says it's less than 100 millivolts. The truth is, any cable or wire I'm going to use here is going to pick up a lot of noise as antenna. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a 9 volts battery, 7 point something probably because it's a rechargeable one, with a short cable to avoid to pick up noise as antenna. This is the noise level signal. And the delta I got is about one point it looks like 86 or 66 millivolts let's remember the fabricant says it has to be something less than 100 millivolts guys this is we are talking here about two millivolts so that's beyond the expectations this this is the unit our power supply, the battery, is set for one volt, and this is the connection. The test probe goes to channel one. Impressing, guys, impressing. It's a very low noise level, it's almost perfect. Something less than two millivolts, guys, is impressing in precision. So we got precision accuracy in the volt in the voltmeter and also very low noise level. I'm very impressed with the unit. So I can approach this unit and make this kind of test not only as a wonderful accessory that lets you to get the maximum approach of any power supply because the controls, the precision, the adjustments but because you can make this kind of test too. Thanks FNIRC for the units. We really appreciate it. We are going to use them in other videos too. And guys, do not forget if the video was useful for, to you to give a like and to subscribe. See you next time with more videos about electronics.